Hey guys, it's Neon, and I'm going to make a, a really uh, unexpected, unexpected, uh, really short video tonight. I don't know how many of you have been following the situation with the quartering. Uh, Jeremy Hambly, who covers uh, gaming news, and uh, he's got a pretty sizable channel. He's got like 500 and some thousand subs. Anyway, uh, last year, uh, Jeremy was at uh, Gen Con, and uh, he was at a bar uh, talking to some friends after the convention and he got uh he got uh punched <laughs> by this dude uh matt loader who uh and then he got banned from from gen con uh afterwards and there was a lawsuit right we haven't heard anything for a few months and uh anyway uh jeremy did update people tonight and he said that uh well i mean this is a very short video there's a prepared statement by matt loader who basically apologized he apologized to jeremy hamley now we don't know what prompted this apology there's probably uh, you know, the lawyers are probably talking and I'm sure there are conditions to it, but uh, Matt Loader apologized to Jeremy Hambly for punching him uh, in the back of the head at a bar because he didn't like the things he had to say and the, the videos he was making and, and things he was saying on Twitter. And he apologized for calling him a Nazi. And he said, you know, Jeremy is, is not a Nazi. And he actually asked Gen Con to reinstate him. And likewise, uh, Jeremy Hambly, who is uh, completely beaming with uh, childish uh, glee here, accepted the apology, said that they're working things out and he's not allowed to comment uh, anymore on that. And I would not expect um, for him to do that. I'm sure that there are some legal things going on behind the scenes, but this is very important. And I'll tell you why, uh, why this is, this is very important. This is uh, a victory for, you know, a lot of uh, YouTubers who are being attacked by crazy people. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. There are crazy people out there on Twitter. Now, this one spilled over into real life with a real life uh, altercation, you know, at a convention or after a convention. Uh, there are, you know, uh, all kinds of crazy stuff going on um, with people in relation to, to the uh, comic skate situation in uh, relation uh, to, to the anime gate situation, right? Uh, so this one was, I guess, I guess you would call this one like Gamergate related, but basically the lesson that should be learned from this is you just cannot just go calling people Nazis who aren't Nazis as someone who's been called a Nazi. Uh, you can't, you can't just call people Nazis and you certainly, certainly cannot just walk up and start punching them because you think it's okay to punch Nazis. Cause once you dehumanize somebody and call them a Nazi, and you've convinced yourself that it's perfectly acceptable to punch Nazis and these people are Nazis, then yeah, it just, it takes the, it kind of takes the, uh, the inhibitor off. Right. Um, this lawsuit needed to be won. This, this needed to be worked out because there needs to be a message sent that you may not like what someone has to say, but that doesn't give you the legal right to go punch them in the back of the head for it. And if you do, then you have to deal with, uh, with the consequences of that. So it will be very interesting to see what happens in, in regards to the, uh, the Wade versus Meyer case and the Vic Mignogna situation, all the people associated, um, with that. But in this case, I'm glad that whatever went on behind closed doors, uh, that it was able to be worked out that apparently, uh, you know, everyone's getting, um, well, he's, he's very happy, uh, that, that, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, Hambly will be reinstated to Gen Con. I think what Gen Con did banning him too was, uh, inexcusable and it definitely lowered my opinion of Gen Con. So hopefully all of this can be worked out and it can just be a lesson learned for everybody involved. Uh, you know, just don't, don't punch people. Don't call people Nazis.